Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmore here for a Tuesday evening slash Tuesday night video. Almost nighttime here in the Northeast, about the sun's just about to go down. Officially going down soon. So happy Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, wherever you may be in the East Coast or on the the other side of the planet. Well, if you're on the, in the Midwest or the West Coast, uh, happy Tuesday evening, Tuesday afternoon. But wherever you may be, happy Tuesday, or if you're in Japan, happy Wednesday. <laughs> but, what the fuck? Sorry, I'm watching NXT. Um, but it is what it is. Happy Tuesday, everybody, to you. Welcome to another video, another two for Tuesday, here, here on, on the... Uh, in Peter Gilmore land. I'm your host, Peter Gilmore. Thank you all for watching. Right here, on the home of all things ranting, PG Rants. What else, hi? But PG Rants, the home of all things ranting. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like the video. Hit the subscribe button down below in my pants. Always known as the description box. And as always, friend me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, share the video all over the internet. Don't forget to tap and slap that bell. Treat it like it's your bitch. Or, in this case, Steve Carrier. Um, but yeah. Slap and slap that bell. Turn on all notifications so you never, ever, ever, ho, 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 ever miss an upload. I know. Pretty much. That's it. Let me move on from there. Alright, so like I said, happy Tuesday evening, Tuesday night to you if you're on the East Coast or the other side of the world. And uh, happy Tuesday afternoon to you on the West Coast and in the Central Time Zone. But it is what it is. Alright, so on this Tuesday night, uh, another twofer again. More content than you motherfuckers can put out, but it is what it is. I'm watching NXT Right now we got a uh, got uh got Tony D'Angelo's boys stacks and Troy two times Donovan uh just beat the shit out of uh, Malik Blade and E uh, and um the other guy was the Idris Anofe. And uh, they get the win. Tony D'Angelo gets in the ring because Santos Escobar and the Galda Fantasma come out. And that was a big, humongous brawl that just started. Because um, earlier when, when NXT started, we had uh, Tony and his boys talking about, you know, it's like, oh, we're going to beat two school nods tonight. And then uh, they hope he hopes that, you know, Santos and company is watching and, uh, They're gonna do the, what? What they do to that? To those two guys are gonna be the same thing. So that's what basically happened. And we see Santos like in the background. Woo! Now we got Wesley. All his ribs all taped up. Talking to Mackenzie Mitchell. But it's what it is. I don't give a shit what he says. But anyway, moving on from um that, I'll do my NXT review on the Peter Gilmore channel later tonight. Probably about ten. I'm uh, probably about eleven o'clock. Also, so I so got a couple of hours to go. So, enjoy NXT tonight. Got the Rangers! Tonight at the Garden. Watching it on on the uh, the desktop right now. Because I'm watching it on a stream. Um, but it is what it is. And um, pretty much all I gotta say about that. Rangers are up 2 to nothing. Great first period. This is probably the best game of the series for the Rangers right now. Coming out smoking hot. Great power play to start the game. First nine minutes were just amazing. And then uh, they got the goal by Frank Vetrano. Uh Frankie boy, yeah, Frankie Vetrano got the power play goal. It's a power play goal. And then Adam Fox got a tip in to make it 2-0. What does the Fox say? Well, he says, I score goals. And, um... There you go. 2 nothing Rangers going into the second period in game number four of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Rangers looking to tie it up to go to Carolina for game five on, I believe, Thursday night. And then we'll see what happens with that. Game six uh, will be on, I believe, Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. So, that's at the Garden. But, 
We'll see what happens with that. Hopefully, Game 7 will not be needed. That'll be on um, sometime early next week. It'll probably be after Memorial Day, so probably the 31st. So next Tuesday, we'll probably get Game 7 of this, this interesting series. And the winner faces the Tampa Bay Lightning and Tampa Bay in the Eastern Conference Finals as Tampa Bay swept the Panthers in four games. And um, that's pretty much it. So, and um, that's it. Anyway, let me get this right before I... um. Don't do it at all. I have time, but it is what it is. It, um, on the Western Conference side, Colorado and the St. Louis Blues game five tomorrow. Uh, Colorado's looking to wrap things up. I'm hoping they do. So Rampage can be on at 10 o'clock, but they're saying it'll be on at on tape delay, which sucks. So. We'll see what happens. Rampage doesn't really have a time, but they are going to be taping at 3 p.m. Pacific time, which is 6 o'clock here. So, we'll see what happens. Originally, Rampage is supposed to start at 5.30 live, um, but it could go to 6, it could go to 7 live, but that depends on what happens with uh, this uh, Colorado-St. Louis series. If St. Louis wins, then I think it'll stay at 5.30 or go to 7 and then Rampage will be on at 10 or whenever uh, that game ends, which will probably be with, you know, with the post-game show and everything, probably about 10.30. So, you know, stay tuned tomorrow after um, Rampage, uh, not after Rampage, after Dynamite to see when Rampage is actually going to be on the air. So, we'll probably get a, a, a announcement from Tony Khan tomorrow, sometime during Rampage or maybe after Rampage. Depending what time that get that game five ends, but we'll see. I'm hoping we get it live at seven o'clock. Goes right into SmackDown. You don't have to worry about tape delay or whatever. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Everyone, all right. Let's get this 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 rant because I am pissed off right now. I am pissed off, and I've been pissed off most of the day. Uh, for various reasons, I'm not going to discuss that part until later. Uh, on my NXT review, I will discuss some um, some things about an obsessed asshole. Assholes, I should say. Make that plural. Assholes! But we'll move on from that. Anyway, so, the reason for this rant, and as the title below says, I got a rant on Steve Carrier. I don't know who Steve Carrier is. He, uh... Works for Ringside News, and uh, he's a so-called journalist. Um, I mean, he's pretty, pretty, pretty kind of knowledgeable in the wrestling realm. He gives out a lot of breaking news and all that other shit. Blah 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 blah. And as we all know, I go to Ringside News for mostly my wrestling news when I do. Random view, random uh, news story, r random uh, streams, like random like shoot kill streams, or if there's an actual breaking news story, and I, I, I talk about it on on my Peter Gilmore account. But I have to rant on Steve Carrier here. Why you ask? Well, he's a transphobic, transphobic motherfucker. He's a piece of fucking shit. That's why I'm mad. Fuck this motherfucker. That's why th th it says rant on Steve Carrier slash in parentheses ringside news. So, this motherfucker goes on Twitter today and answered a, uh, I guess, a tweet. Um, he's been going back and forth with with fan with um various fans and marks and all that shit. Um, I don't have the original tweet. I'm just taking this from. From his from his actual um, uh, Twitter page uh, at Steve underscore Carrier, or you just type in Steve Carrier of Ringside News and you'll find him. But anyway, Steve Carrier prob probably is the biggest dick right now. Um. Anyway, so uh, Steve Carrier is in the news because he made a transphobic tweet. Uh, about Nyla Rose. Now, we all know Nyla Rose is a transsexual, blah, 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 and she's been getting a lot of, um, 
comments, very bad comments, uh, over the years because she came out as trans, uh, transsexual. And that's what, and then when she joined AEW, fans were just like, oh, AEW, Tony Khan just signed a transsexual. Why? You know, then they got mad because, uh, Everybody, all the marks got mad because Nyla Rose won the AEW Women's title from Rio, who was the very first uh, AEW Women's Champion. So when she won, everybody got mad. I was like, oh, AEW uh, Women's Champion is a man. What the fuck? You know? So Nyla, Nyla's been getting that for, for years. And then um, earlier um, last year, uh, there was, a, there was a, a homophobic sign in the crowd. When um, I believe it was with um, when Nyla Rose was facing Ruby Soho, so uh, uh, Nyla came out and just like blasted that guy to the moon. But it never ends with this shit. It never ends in America. I mean, people don't know how to fucking grow up. These fucking marks. These fucking like twelve, thirteen, all, all the way up to like around my age. I'm 45. All these people from like 12 to 45 cannot seem to grow the fuck up. They just love to just yap, yap, yap. Oh, Nyla Rose is transsexual. Ah, this and that. Sonny Kiss is a transsexual. No, really, she's not a transsexual. He, he is, I should say. Sonny Kiss is a man dressed up as a woman, not trans. She has the body, he has a male body parts, I believe. But that's another story for a long time. But people like people like that, Sunny Kiss, and Nyla Rose have been blasted by the so-called internet wrestling community, or the so-called what WC. Are getting bombarded with hate, hate comments, and every everything else. And if you support them, you get the same shit. This is why the this is why the YWC and the IWC are, are basically dead because they're, they're a bunch of fucking idiots in this fucking com in these communities. It's, it is just mind boggling how these people operate. These people should be locked up for making these stupid fucking slanderish comments. But anyway, let me get to this uh this uh this tweet before I, I go insane. Uh, not that I am already. Um, but anyway, uh, so, so, um, so Steve Carrier, uh, and a few fans were going at it because of, was, uh, Sean Ross Sapp, uh, not Sean Sapp, sorry, Steve Carrier made, made a really bad tweet. Uh, let me see if I can go to the original tweet. Um, but, uh, anyway, I, I don't have the original tweet, um, on my computer, but it is what it is. I should have done better with this, but it is what it is. So anyway, Steve Carrier, uh, went on a tirade because somebody, so he, he was talking about Nyla Rose, he made some transphobic tweets, and then... The whole freaking Twitter just blew up, saying saying that oh uh, you know, blah blah. They gave eight, they gave uh, the AEW Women's Title to a man, the first one that was a man, right? And then you no, know, you no. Know, this idiot forgets that Rio was the very first AEW Women's Champion. Blah 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 blah. And then people on Twitter are just blowing up on this guy. Uh, I'm going to read a couple of tweets uh, from various people. Uh, Blazed Out Gaming at Blazed Out Gaming said, said, and I quote, You aren't allowed to be a transphobic piece of shit and lie and say you aren't under the influence. You aren't allowed to think you are, you're all high and mighty when all you do is actually hurt the professional wrestling community. You're a drunk. You need help. And then C. Carrier uh, replied, I'm allowed to have an opinion. Yeah, everybody has an opinion, like everybody has an asshole, and it stinks. And sir, you stink. You're a dick. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody's going, going on about, you know, you know, you know talking about Nyla and everything. 
I'm I'm just reading some the the, the replies from Blaze Out Gaming's uh, t- uh tweet. Uh, he's saying what's going on is that Steve is a transphobic piece of shit towards Nyla and the L L G B T Q I double Z not double Z but <laughs> but professional wrestling community pissed at his poor on 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 live. Uh, claimed he wasn't drinking and said time to get more booze on live. So basically, he was drunk and made a transphobic tweet about Nyla Rose. And now he's kind of trying to backtrack on everything and being a complete, complete and utter dick. Blah 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 blah. So basically, he just went on a drunken tirade, and um, that's pretty much it for that. All right, so let me go back to uh, Steve Carrier. All right, so Steve Carrier then um, tweeted out uh, from um, from the Blaze Out Gaming tweet. He said, hilarious, goddamn right, yeah, I don't think the first ever AEW Women's Champion should be a man. That's dumb as fuck. It should be a woman. If you don't like that, eat shit. So, he's basically saying that a- that Tony Khan strapped on the AEW Women's title on a guy, on, on a male that has female parts. How fucking stupid are you, dude? How fucking stupid are you, Steve Carrier? Why don't you take another shot? Fucking idiot, man. So, everybody's coming out of the woodwork bashing Steve Carrier for being a complete dick and forgetting that Rio was the first ever AEW Women's Champion. But this is the way America is. These fucking cancel cultural bastards just going on, going on, going on. And everybody's coming out of the woodwork now, supporting Nyla. I mean, Nyla uh, put out a tweet saying, saying, like, it's just a scrape and everything. We should really be focusing on the sad, tragic events in Uvalde, Texas, with the, that fucking idiot 18-year-old white motherfucker that shot up a fucking school. A elementary school, mind you. 14 people died. 14 kids died. One teacher what the fuck is going on in America these days? We have a fucking racist who shot up a supermarket in Buffalo. Crime is going berserk. Especially in New York City and other various cities around this great land. People getting killed for no apparent reason. I mean, two people got killed on, a tra- on trains uh, this past weekend. What is going on in America? Especially in New York City. What the fuck's going on here? The way the, this is the way the world works, and this is why Joe Biden needs to get the fuck out. Because this wasn't happening under Trump, if you know what I mean. It wasn't happening. Crime wasn't as bad as it was now. But now it's just, you know, just, it, it is, America is just fucked up. Gas prices are like $10 in the West Coast. If you're on the East Coast, it's about 5 and change. Almost $6. And there's going to be, a, there's, they, they, they talk about a oil shortage. They talk about food shortage coming up in six months. How the fuck are we going to eat? And this is all because of the fucking war. That's going, still going on in fucking Ukraine. And there was an assassinate, assassination attempt on Putin that failed. Damn! That close. That close to killing that motherfucker. But it is what it is. Then I heard um, there was, a, there was a, a report that some guy, some guy was um, stalking President Judge Debbie Bush in um, 2020. And almost assassinated him. But thankfully he got caught. So, fuck you, dude. Um, but yeah, I mean... What is the, what the fuck is going on in America? Cancel culture. Just sweeping the nation. Crime is up the, up the wazoo. The economy is all fucked up. Gas prices up the wazoo. Inflation is up the wazoo. Can't even get baby formula. 
Freaking these, these people that have different diseases, they need the formula to survive. They can't get it. Even though there's, there's uh, from other countries are sending in formula now, which is great. But if you go to a store, you, you, you're lucky to even get a uh, any formula. What's crazy. But it is what it is. I don't know. That's uh, pretty much it for that. Anyway, crazy stuff on um, NXT right now with uh, Braun Breaker going to, like, storming into a locker room and then finding a picture of him, his, him, and, him and his dad and I think his brothers and sisters in a bed. I guess Gacy put that there or something like that. And now the beautiful Electra Lopez is, on, is in the ring. She's going to be taking on Kaylee Ray or Alba Fire coming up. So, this episode hasn't been that bad, but I haven't really been watching it, but, because I've been watching the Rangers right now, uh, but, um, that's pretty much it. But anyway, as I finish this video off, uh, I have to say, I I'm just gonna say this one time only, grow the fuck up, people! Grow the fuck up! I mean, if Nyla Rose wins the AEW Women's Championship again... I know people, I know all these marks are going to continue to bash her and everything because she's a transsexual. The same thing if Sonny Kiss ever won a, you know, won a title or something like that. But it's just the way this world is. Stupid, motherfucking racist people and fucking idiots that think they have an opinion, but their opinion is shit. And these people really need a dose of reality. Like a big slap in the fucking face. And see, Carrier, you need a good kick in the ass. And I know you're not going to apologize to Nyla. Even if you were drunk. I don't even think Nyla should even take the apology. To be to be frank. and, and But my name's not Frank, but it is what it is. But all I have to say is... um. Sean Carrier, fuck you, motherfucker. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. Uh, you know, I went on Nyla, Nyla's uh, Twitter, and, you know, I said, see, Carrier's a piece of shit. I just do what you do. You know, because Nyla Rose, no matter if she's a transsexual, or she's gay, lesbian, bi, I don't give a shit if Nyla, Nyla Rose is personally, she's a wrestler, she's a human fucking being, respect the fucking human being, god damn it, because all you're basically doing is slandering her name, kind of like how you trolls slander my name, but it is what it is, you can't respect a person, whether it is, it is he's gay, straight, bi, trans, pan, whatever, no respect for people these days. Especially people like that in the trans community. You know, and I have friends... I have friends that are gay, they're lesbian, they're bi. I have no problem with them. No problem. My brother from another mother had a friend that... Uh, well, his ex-wife had a friend that was gay. He always, always came to the parties and everything. I didn't care who was gay, as long as he doesn't, you know, do anything really weird. Because so I don't swing that way, because I got a wife. But blah, 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 blah. And people slander her because people think she looks like a transsexual, but she's not. But I digress. But still, you know, that guy, his name is Anthony. He was guy, I know he was gay. I'm like, oh, that's cool. You know, just don't splash on me, but, you know, because I don't go that way. But I have respect for gay people. I, re I, you know, I have respect for the lesbians. I love the lesbians, you know, and everything. Transsexuals. I didn't care that, that freaking Nyla Rose was a transsexual when I first saw her. I didn't care. I didn't give a shit. I didn't give a shit when Candy came out as gay. I didn't give a shit. Or when, uh, um, Fred Dodger or, you know, Tyson O'Neill's partner. You know who is uh, Damon? Uh, was it Darren Young came out as gay? Didn't give a shit. 
But all these people are like, oh, he's fucking gay. I ain't got you that. What do you give a shit if he's fucking gay or he's bisexual or he's, you know, he, go, he likes to, he likes you know, you know what I mean? Or if, like, Sonya Deville, you know, is getting, you know, doesn't like dick or, you know, something like that. She likes, you know, she likes, you know, she likes it the other way, you know what I mean? Who gives a shit? But you people are fucking racist, fucking, fucking uh, transphobic, homophobic, whatever you may be. You just can't respect that they're in, um, these people are in love, they're whatever they be. Oh, God didn't put these people on earth to be gay. Who gives a shit? They want to be gay, let them be gay. They want to be lesbian, let them be lesbian. They want to be bi, trans, pan, doesn't fucking matter. It's their body, let them do what the fuck they want to do. Let them be who they want to be. That's it. But if you, got, if you people can't respect that, then get the fuck off the internet and just ignore these people. Do what you do. Be yourself. Alright? If not, shut the fuck up. That's all I gotta say. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go finish watching this Ranger game. Before I break something. Because I'm getting, getting very close to just going on, going on this fucking... Ra uh, going on a rage. And I don't want to. But it is what it is. Alright, I'm going to finish watching this Ranger game, which is still going on. 2 nothing in the second period. 428 left as of right now. So, Rangers are playing some good, fat fucking hockey right now. And, um, big old praise to Jacob Truba. Oh, did you see that hit? Woo, boy. And Carolina fans are like, oh, complaining that their guy got a 10-minute misconduct because he went after Truba. Fuck you. It's a legal hit. That's up. All, all I gotta say about that. All right, so I'm gonna finish watching uh, this Ranger game, and then I'm gonna watch NXT. Even I'm watching it now, but I'm focused on the Rangers right now. So it is what it is. But leave your thoughts down below. What you think of this whole Sean Carrier Nyla Rose situation? And that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I'm Peter Gomez signing off. And if you're not down with that, well, fuck you, man. And to Sean Carrier, suck a dick, motherfucker. Adios. Peace.